Hello there. I would like to talk to you about my experience growing up as a Scientologist here in Switzerland. Some of my earliest memories are the fact that I am an immortal spiritual being who has lived many thousands of lives, have had many hundreds of parents and siblings and so on and so forth. And so now this family that I'm in is not really my family. They're just simply my caregivers because I happen to be in a small body. I'm an adult in a small body and because of my small body and the laws of the land, I'm restricted to do many things. I can't go to work, I can't uh, drive a car and all of that. And so they have to look after me until I'm old enough and then I can do whatever I want to do. So that was one part of it. The other part, of course, having grow growing up in Scientology, I've been told that Scientology is the most important thing in the world. It is the most ethical group in the world. It is there to save the planet, whatever that means. I mean, it was never specified. Well, what does it mean to save the planet? Or another phrase was to clear the planet. Well, what does that mean exactly? It just sounded great. And I never asked details about that. It just sounded great. And it convinced me already. And so having that mindset, naturally, anybody who says anything bad about Scientology, anyone who speaks ill of it, they must be evil. They must be there to destroy the universe because, of course, we are here to save the universe. And so if somebody says something bad, it would mean they must be evil and want to destroy everything and everyone. So that was so the sort of attitude I grew up with. Now, I never came in a situation as a child where somebody confronted me. Um, although that's not quite true because I did do a volunteer voluntary work as a child and I would be on the streets of Basel handing out uh, flyers, leaflets, different booklets and whatever. And there have been a couple of situations that I remember where somebody would shout uh, that uh, would shout things at me. I don't remember exactly what they said. One time they shouted like, do you even want to be here? Uh, you know, this is child labor. Do you want to be here? And I just sort of froze up. I didn't really know what to say. But then there were other children and said, yes, we want to be here. And then I would, you know, chime in or whatever. But I didn't want to be there. I'm sure the other children probably didn't want to be there. I mean, we're children. We want to go out and play and do stupid things. But I knew if I didn't go there, it would be a sign of discontentment. And if you show signs of not being happy with Scientology or anything involved with Scientology, it means one of two things, really. Or both, of course. One is you have misunderstood words. So when you go in Scientology, you do different courses and whatever, and then you have to read materials. So it could be there are words that you didn't fully understand. And that is why you didn't really gain so much win from that course. And so you may have a little bit of resentment or you didn't, you're not quite as happy with it as you're supposed to be. Or the other option that was often the option they decided to go with is you have committed O words and whistles, O W's. And overt is basically anything you do that is bad. So any discretion, so anything like you stole something, you pushed somebody, you, you swore at somebody maybe. A withhold is something that you, well, withhold. So you don't tell somebody you did something. So the solution would be that you have to write down your overts and withholds, you have to write them down. You have to write down, uh, what happened, where did you do this, when did you, when did you do this, and you have to write down exactly. It all gets written down, uh, and then it gets sent to your file, and then it is, it is in your so-called ethics file. And you're supposed to do that, and that makes you feel better about yourself because you wrote down all the bad things that you've done. Now, did I really feel better about myself after having done that? Yeah, I think it's fair to say that with some of the things I wrote down, I felt relieved that I got it out of my system. But did I think differently about me wanting to go out and play rather than doing Scientology? I think truthfully, I would have to say no. But I knew I needed to pretend. Like even as a child, I, understand, I understood that I needed to protect myself. I needed to pretend that everything was fine, that I liked doing Scientology, I enjoyed doing it. And don't get me wrong, there were definitely parts of it that I found fun and I like doing. There are certain drills in Scientology that I thought was, was very fun and I like doing. But the thing is, you are only allowed to like everything 
you're not allowed to say I only like this and the other and I didn't like this part because that means again you have o OWs overs and results or you have misunderstood words so there's there's no gray area there's always this black and white either you like it and you're with us or you're against us or third option would be you're ignorant so somebody who never even heard of Scientology so they don't really have an opinion about it so they're not really against it or with it so I would say I would say that's 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 as far as the gray area would go but if you're an active Scientologist and you do a course and for example you finish the course and you think to yourself yeah, that was interesting but you didn't really gain anything out of it you didn't really feel like there was a win well that's an out point that means you must have an overt you must have uh, a withhold or was a withhold you must have words you didn't fully understand because it is impossible not to gain gains not to gain um, something out of it because Scientology says Scientology works 100% of the time if you apply it 100% of the time which is of course a beautiful loophole because that means if you do Scientology and it doesn't work it means there's something wrong with you you didn't do it properly you didn't apply it properly and that is the reason why and as a child I learned this fairly early onward because I was quite precocious as a child I, I, I started to read fairly young and I was very quick I did many many courses in Scientology as a child and I understood that I always had to pretend that I liked the course sometimes I liked I generally did like the course and I generally did feel like I, I had a win about it and I would write a success story but this success story you have to write regardless you have to always write a successful when you, success story when you finish a course to show how great it was and if you refuse like the example earlier you did a course you think it was interesting interesting viewpoint but you didn't really feel like it gave you anything and so afterwards you have to write a success story and you can't really write anything down because it didn't really give you anything this course well again going back you have OWs you have misunderstood words or both so I knew this very early onwards and so I would always pretend that I was happy that I, I liked doing the courses when I didn't like doing the courses but I didn't see that as an out point because I thought to myself well maybe I'm just a weird one because everybody else is writing success story you know not realizing that you didn't have a choice not realizing that if you had a choice maybe there would be less but because there is no choice everybody has to write success story I didn't realize that realize that again I was a child okay and yeah so I didn't see that as an out point I didn't see that as, as something wrong at all to me it was more the other way around I saw myself as there's something wrong with me why do I not gain as much out of this course, out of this thing that I'm reading, that I'm doing in Scientology as everybody else? So I thought that I'm there's something wrong with me, there's, there's something broken with, within me that my mind, my spirit is so damaged that I can't gain anything out of it. But I don't want to be a bother to anyone, so I just pretend that everything is fine and I just write everything is wonderful and whatever. Another part of growing up in Scientology as a child is that there was a, a severe superior complex. I really thought I was better than everybody else. Well, everybody who wasn't a Scientologist. I just thought to myself, look at these children. These children are doing nothing useful. They don't do any courses. They just go out and play or do stupid things. I'm in the course room. I'm doing the courses. I'm advancing my my knowledge, my mind, my spirit, well my spirit, I am the spirit in Scientology, so I'm advancing myself and they're doing nothing. So I did very much feel superior to other people and this superiority complex, this went on for some time until I joined the C organization with 13 and then it sort of, it dropped a little bit because then I was surrounded only by people who are dedicated Scientologists and really do uh, only courses uh, deliver Scientology so that changed a little bit but growing up I obviously had to go to public schools so I was surrounded by non Scientologists all the time and I didn't have many friends who were not Scientologists I had maybe one or two friends and I never convinced them or tried to get them to do Scientology ever which up to this point 
Like, I can't even tell you why I didn't. I mean, because I had this mindset of, well, there's something wrong with me, but everybody else is gaining something out of it. So why wouldn't I want my friends to gain something out of it? I can't tell you exactly what, what I thought about it. Like, why did I think I don't need to do that? Maybe I already knew that people thought Scientology was weird and I didn't want to lose a friend. I'm not sure exactly. But most, most of my other friends, they were all Scientologists. I grew up with other Scientology children around the org, the, the, the Scientology organization in Basel. And so that's my, that was my main friend group. And then a couple outside of Scientology from school. So yeah, that was the sort of mindset I had as a child growing up. Uh, let me know if you have any specific question about it. If you grew up yourself as a Scientologist, if you remember these sort of things happening to you, that you observed yourself, that you taught yourself, this does, doesn't work for me, but there must be something wrong with me, please write that down, let me know. Hello there again. If you like this video, please be a darling and hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any suggestion for another video, if you have any comments or anything like that, please do write it down in the comment section. And other than that, I wish you a most marvelous day. Goodbye.